Okay, here we go. I've seen um, the video showing how to set up a domain and email on a domain using um, Namecheaps or Cheap Names, whatever that site is. Namecheaps, I think. So I thought I would do the same thing uh, using GoDaddy since uh, GoDaddy is what I'm uh, kind of used to, even though I think Chris doesn't really like GoDaddy because of the restrictions they put on you. So, but you know, let's just go through it real quick to show you. So first, this simple little uh, four-step or five-step procedure, and the first step is to sign on to GoDaddy. So once you sign on to GoDaddy, you go into your my my account, and it comes up with um, you're managing your domains, and you get you get a screen like this uh, that shows your domains, your web hosting, your email. So the second step is to go into this email, go over to the launch, L-A-U-N-C-H, over to the right side of that screen. Click on it, and it brings up another screen. The third step in this five-step process is to click on this little link right here. Uh, what shows on this screen, of course, is the uh, domains, or are the domains you already have set up, and GoDaddy, and you can see that I bought about 10 over the last uh, couple of weeks, and um, all of them are already set up, so I'm just going to go through the process to show you. But that second step is once you click on the um, email and the launch, you get to this page, you see this where it says Create Forward. If you just click on Create Forward, it brings up a forward email which brings up a nice little screen here that sh shows you exactly what to do. First thing you do is create the email that you want to forward. So, and we'll use our new domain name on that. So what I normally use as a domain, as an email, is Jerry and or in Diane at whatever the new domain is. So in this particular case, I've already set up some of these. So. I'm going to use uh, ju click magic, ju click magic dot info. So that will be the email that I'm setting up to use as my send email in uh, send loop. Well, it won't be send loop anymore because I've been canceled out of two of my three um, accounts, and I'm expecting to be canceled out of the third one today. So I'll be going back to get response. But uh, right here it says forward this email address so the one you create right there is the one that's going to be forwarded to a catch-all account that you have set up or a Gmail account and I do have one JTUP which area of church and NJOY uh, is uh, my business enjoy freedom and but I set up NJOY1 as a, as a Gmail account and I click that at Gmail Dot com. So this is where the emails will all come in uh, that use this domain name. And I could add other emails in here that if I wanted to come to multiple emails, but I certainly don't want to do that. Then we'll go over here, and this is the key. I think this is the real key to the whole thing is um, clicking on make this a catch-all account. Now, catch-all account. What that really means is it makes no difference what's in this part of the email right here. You can put Jerry at uh, juclickmagic.info, or you can put Diane at juclickmagic.info, you can put Sam or Joe or Bill, admin, you can put Lucy, you can put uh, human resources, whatever you choose to put in there. It will always go to this email address because you've made this a Click Magic account, uh, not Click Magic, a, a catch-all account. So once you make that a catch-all, and it takes a little bit of time for um, GoDaddy to get it in place, maybe 15 minutes or so, then you just click Create, which is actually the uh, fourth or fifth step. I can't remember. That's the final step. Create. Sorry about my phone ringing. I will uh, have to call them back later. Um, but then you click Create, and you'll notice here that um, this comes up with a little red saying it's already in use. So I've already downloaded this one time, so uh, that's all it takes. Uh, and once that's done, 
you are ready to go. So you can go over to your email account if you want to and um, send yourself an email showing um, that it works. But until you do send yourself an email and you get that email in your email account, then don't use it as a send address for in your get response or your send loop account because they actually test it to verify that it is a valid email account. So um, that's it for now. That's a pretty simple little process. So um, step one, sign in. Step two is to click on manage your accounts or domains. And step three is click on the email, the launch button in the email. The step four is to click on forward your email, which is this right here, this little uh, deal right here, just forward, forward your email. And then step five is um, enter the inform information that where you want it to uh, go, create your new email, then where you want it to go, and then click create. And you are done. So that's it for now. Have a good evening.